story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a horror and thriller film called Curve. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Mallory is getting married soon, so she drives to Denver for her wedding rehearsal. She then talks to her sister, Ella, through a video call and tells her she's taking the scenic route, making the girl think she's stalling. Ella wonders if her sister is okay, admitting she hasn't booked her flight yet because she wants to know if Mallory is happy, so Mallory assures her that she is. Moments later, Mallory continues her journey and listens to a voicemail sent by her fiancé, Brad, who feels sorry that they have to cancel their honeymoon. Then, the guy asks her to take care of his car and promises to make it up to her, but Mallory doesn't want to listen to him anymore. After that, Mallory decides to take a detour and see the Grand Canyon, but it isn't long before her car breaks down. With no other choice, Mallory attempts to figure out what's wrong with the car and only ends up getting dirty. So, she cleans her hands and removes her engagement ring before trying to call AAA. Unfortunately, there's no service in that area, and to make things worse, she sees the pamphlets to a nightclub that Brad has been keeping. At the same time, Mallory accidentally spills soda on herself. Annoyed, Mallory quickly gets out of the vehicle to change her clothes, only to be startled by a man who suddenly approaches her. The guy, Christian, offers to help Mallory and eventually fixes her car, but he refuses to accept any payment from her. So, Mallory just drives away, but she soon changes her mind and waits for Christian to give him a ride. While in the car, Christian asks Mallory some questions about her life. Mallory then talks about her relationship with Ella and reveals that they only have each other, making her feel embarrassed that she's sharing that with a stranger. However, Christian doesn't mind and actually wants to know more about Mallory, asking her to tell him about her fiancé. A few minutes later, Christian starts talking about serendipity, but he assures Mallory he isn't flirting with her. Unfortunately, Mallory becomes uncomfortable when Christian tells her something inappropriate and asks him to get out of the car. However, Christian has other plans and stops Mallory when she tries to flee, showing her a knife and making it clear he won't hesitate to hurt her if she doesn't do what he wants. Now that he's in control, Christian instructs a terrified Mallory to drive to an abandoned motel down the road. Then, Mallory notices that Christian isn't wearing his seatbelt, so she speeds toward a guardrail near a curve and crashes the car. Later on, Mallory wakes up and finds the vehicle upside down, and she soon realizes her leg is stuck in the seat when she tries to get out of there. And if that isn't enough, Mallory accidentally cuts her arm while trying to free herself. It's all Mallory can do not to scream so as not to alert Christian, who is unconscious outside the car. But despite the pain, Mallory tends to her wound and desperately tries to reach for the knife that Christian dropped. Seconds later, Christian regains consciousness just as Mallory manages to get the knife. He then mocks Mallory before leaving, telling her she's now on her own. So, Mallory looks for her phone and screams for help, but nobody comes to her aid. That night, Mallory tries and fails to kick her door open. Then, she wears a hoodie after feeling cold and even uses her wedding dress as a blanket. She also turns on the heater and tries to get some rest, only to be startled by the sound of twigs snapping. Although she's scared, Mallory looks around and sees several tree branches falling, so she holds the knife and prepares to defend herself from whatever's out there. The next day, Mallory wakes up and realizes there are ants all over her. She then drinks a little bit of water before going through Christian's stuff, which he accidentally left. Unfortunately, Mallory has to spend another night in that place, and she can't help but feel sad when she finds the ring she removed earlier. The following morning, Christian returns just to mock Mallory. He tells her he found a cabin down the river, saying its owners might be back soon. Christian also asks Mallory why she drove off the road like that, wondering if she thought he was going to violate her. However, Mallory chooses to keep quiet and just lets Christian do the talking. Seconds later, Mallory tells Christian she needs food and water, but the guy has no intention of helping her. He even drinks and eats in front of Mallory before asking her about her first time with a man. However, Christian gets impatient and prepares to leave when he realizes Mallory won't talk. Scared of being alone again, Mallory starts talking about the first time she slept with a man, and Christian makes sure to know all the details about it. Obviously, Christian intends to humiliate Mallory by making her acknowledge things she won't even admit to herself. However, Christian sees right through Mallory and realizes the story she just told him was about Ella. Then, Christian takes the food and starts walking away, telling Mallory she shouldn't just tell people what they want to hear. Darkness falls and Mallory once again finds herself alone. There's nothing else for her to do but look around the stuff in her car, including Christian's ID. After that, she encloses it with a small note for Ella, stating that Christian's the one who killed her. Mallory decides to hide the ID and note in the car, just in case she doesn't survive, and she can only hope that Ella will learn the truth. 
Moments later, Mallory starts a fire using the lighter she found in the vehicle. She also burns a part of her wedding dress, and for some reason, she doesn't feel bad about it. Then, Mallory cleans herself using only some wet wipes, and it isn't long before she falls asleep. However, Mallory soon wakes up and realizes that rats are surrounding her, so she ignores her fear and drives the rodents away, and she even manages to kill one using her key. After that, Mallory cuts the rat open and cooks its meat, silently crying because she can't believe she's in that situation. Then, Mallory inspects Christian's wallet again and finds an old photo of his family inside. Unfortunately, finding that picture isn't going to help Mallory get out of there, so she just chooses to get some rest. The next day, Mallory wakes up to the buzzing of her phone. She then uses a twig to reach it and quickly tries calling Ella, but Christian suddenly shows up. So, Mallory hides her phone and listens to Christian, who says he had to take care of the cabin owners when they came home. Then, Christian teases Mallory for eating a rat, but he also compliments her for being brave. Unfortunately, Christian soon discovers that Mallory has a phone and tries to take it away from her. Mallory then fights back using the knife, but Christian still manages to get her phone. Mallory can only scream for help and tells Christian she's already called the cops, but the guy knows she's lying and breaks her phone. With no other choice, Mallory begs Christian to let her go, but the guy wants to have fun with her. He also tells Mallory no one is coming to save her, telling her she's on her own. Then, Christian prepares to return to the cabin, so Mallory stops him from leaving her and says she'll do anything he wants. Because of that, Christian shows Mallory a saw, which he wants her to use to free herself. However, Mallory is sure that it won't cut through the door, and Christian is aware of that. Mallory then cries when she realizes what Christian wants her to do, asking him what turned him into a bad person. To buy some time, Mallory starts talking about Christian's family. Unfortunately, Christian only laughs at Mallory and reveals he's not the boy in the photo she found. He also tells Mallory she's there for a reason, advising her to take things into her own hands before giving her the saw and leaving. Once she's alone, Mallory starts cutting through the door and just ends up breaking the saw. Then, she uses the blade and tries to cut off her leg, only to become discouraged in the end. After that, Mallory falls asleep and wakes up thirsty, but she doesn't have any more water to drink. So, Mallory just drinks her own urine even though it disgusts her. That night, Mallory manages to collect some water when it starts to rain. At the same time, she learns from the news on the radio that there's a possibility of severe flooding in some places because of the weather. Then, Christian soon arrives and approaches Mallory who put the rat's guts on her leg before pretending to sleep. Upon seeing that, Christian thinks that Mallory actually tried cutting off her leg and checks if she's awake by poking her with a small branch. Then, Christian gets inside the vehicle once he's sure Mallory's unconscious, and that's when he realizes she's trying to trick him. Unfortunately for Christian, Mallory has no intention of going down without a fight. Mallory then stabs Christian and grabs his keys, making sure to set off his car alarm first before throwing the keys away. Pissed, Christian starts looking for his keys as it continues to rain. On the other hand, Mallory tries to free herself and immediately screams for help when she notices some cars on the road. Then, Christian ignores the vehicles passing by and disables his alarm, but it isn't long before a cop shows up. The officer wants to know how to help Christian, who says he accidentally locked his key inside the car. Christian then asks the officer for a ride to the cabin down the river, and the unsuspecting cop lets him come with him. Unfortunately, the cop has no idea how dangerous Christian is, and he fails to hear the news on the radio about Mallory, who's been reported missing. However, the officer decides to investigate the area when he hears Mallory honking the horn, but because of the darkness and heavy rain, he eventually leaves with Christian. Meanwhile, Mallory's effort to call the cop's attention goes to waste. At the same time, she realizes she's running out of time because the river is now overflowing. As it starts to flood inside the car, Mallory desperately tries to cut off her leg and screams in pain. However, the strong current eventually carries the vehicle away, which helps Mallory free herself from being stuck. Sadly, Mallory's nightmare isn't over yet, for she needs to find a way to get out of that car. Moments later, Mallory manages to escape from the vehicle and quickly swims towards the riverbank. Unfortunately, she's exhausted and injured, but she's still thankful to be alive. Then, using a tree branch, Mallory starts limping away. Eventually, Mallory reaches the cabin down the river. She also hears a girl screaming inside the house, and Mallory can't just leave her alone. So, even though she's in so much pain, Mallory quietly heads to the cabin and soon realizes the place is surrounded by bear traps. This time, Mallory approaches the house more carefully and peeks through the window, seeing a girl tied to the bed. She also witnesses Christian hurt the police officer using a nail gun before finally killing him. Then, Mallory enters the cabin when Christian goes upstairs, and that's when she sees the dead bodies of the house owners. 
Despite being terrified, Mallory takes the cop's gun before hiding. She then helps the house owner's daughter, Katie, but she quickly hides behind the door when Christian enters the room. Unaware that Mallory is there, Christian sits on the bed and talks to Katie about her behavior. However, he soon realizes that the tape covering her mouth is already gone, so Mallory makes her move and points the gun at him. Unfortunately, Christian charges forward and attempts to take the gun away from Mallory, and the two get into a fight. Meanwhile, Katie helps Mallory by jumping on Christian's back, but the guy easily knocks her down. Mallory then instructs Katie to run as she bites Christian's arm and scratches his face, and upon fleeing, she quickly hides before the crazy guy catches up to her. Not knowing that Mallory is hiding under the table, Christian searches the cabin and talks about how much fun he's having because of her. Unfortunately, it isn't long before Christian finds Mallory and catches her, eagerly slamming her body against the wall. Then, Christian prepares to kill Mallory but she knees him in the groin and prods his stab wound. After that, Mallory heads upstairs and opens the door to the balcony, making Christian think she's there. However, Mallory is actually hiding beside the bed and she doesn't hesitate to push Christian off the balcony. Unfortunately for Christian, he ends up crushing his leg in a bear trap. Meanwhile, Mallory mocks Christian as he squirms in pain. She then kicks the knife toward Christian, giving him the same chance he gave her. At the same time, Mallory tells Christian he got in the wrong car before finally leaving with Katie. Still, Christian tries to ask Mallory for help, but it isn't long before he succumbs to his wounds. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.